Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to test an alternator to make sure that it still charges your car. Now, this is a good exercise if you guys have a uh, used alternator or purchased the used alternator and are unsure of the condition of it. This way, you can verify that it does charge your car before you pop it into the car. Um, the setup here is pretty similar to how it's actually set up in the vehicle with, with it all plug and play, but we're just doing it outside the vehicle, so it's all like bench testing here. Now, one of the things that you will need is a impact gun or something to spin the crank pulley. It has to spin, or not crank pulley, but the alternator pulley, has to spin fast enough so that it can generate enough voltage or amperage to do some charging. If it's too slow, it's not going to do anything, it's not going to charge, and that's not the fault of the alternator, but more your equipment. Uh, how, just, just keep in mind that when this thing is in a vehicle and it's spinning, it's going fast enough to generate 14.7 volts charging. Uh, so your, when you're measuring your voltage on your battery, it will jump up to about 14.7. Now, with it out of the car and using an impact gun, I expect that to be a lot less because the impact gun doesn't spin as fast as the engine. But we should still see the voltage go up a little bit for, for indication of it being charging. So I'll show you guys the setup here, and then um, we'll just get to testing it so you guys can see how it works. All right, guys. So here's the setup here. You will need a light. This imitates the dash light, the battery um, indicator on your dash light. Now, when the alternator is spinning, that indicator turns off on your dash because it tells us that the alternator is working. But if that indicator does come on on your dash, it means your alternator has failed. Now, you're gonna hook up everything to your battery. I'm gonna, I, I didn't wanna pull the battery out of the car, so this is how I hooked it up. So you'll need the positive and the negative terminal of the battery. Now the wiring for this thing is quite straightforward. Now one of the wires go to the light. This is a three wire alternator. Now let me see if I can spin the alternator around and show you guys the wiring. All right guys, so here's the setup. Here's the back of the alternator. Uh, like I said, it's a three wire alternator. So it's a three wire plug. I don't have the plug with me right now. So I decided to just use alligator kit clips. So the wiring is quite simple. Most of it gets hooked up to the positive terminal. So you could think of this as hooked up to the battery. So that's the the red lead, positive terminal of the battery. Now, this middle wire here, which is the green uh, wire, this is the ignition input. So it's power feeding into the alternator. The white wire here, this is a ground for the light. The other end of the light needs to be connected to power, and that's it. The body of the alternator here, this will get connected to the um, negative end of the battery, which is over here. Once that's all fully connected, the circuit is complete, and you can spin the alternator. So we're gonna to get to spinning the alternator now, and I'll show you guys what it looks like once we connect this lead. All right guys, so I've reclamped this back down so the alternator doesn't move all over the place. This thing is still quite wobbly though. So this is what happens when you connect the negative lead to the battery negative side. As you can see, the bulb lights up. And our voltage here is at 11.3. So it's been using some voltage. Um, now we have to just spin this thing and then we'll watch as the voltage goes up or goes down. So I'm gonna take it off the tripod now and I'll show you guys while I use my impact gun. All right guys, so now we're gonna spin it uh, and you can watch as the voltage goes up or it doesn't go up at all. So as you can see, the light did go off. That is an indication that the alternator is charging and you could have seen that this actually went up so it was actually charging. So that shows that this alternator is actually good and it's still good. So we could use this alternator. So this is the test, that's it. That shows that the alternator is good. There we go guys, we've done the test on my D16Y8 alternator and we've determined that it's good. Now we have a good OEM alternator, that's a spare. Now I just have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Anyways, I hope this test helps you guys out. If you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.